Okay, now it's time to take a quick look at compiling. Now the compiling uh, route I'm going to show you is actually being updated shortly, so this will help you out in the meantime, but what's actually going to happen is there's going to be a new game pack released, and I'll let you know about that in a video uh, coming up. And once this new game pack is released, you'll be able to build maps through the build menu on Radiant itself. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk you through very quickly how to compile a map. So uh, let's just draw a quick map. It doesn't have to be anything special. We just need some certain things in there to uh, allow the map to compile. So we'll just texture it. Double click in our texture browser. And we'll pick a texture. And now we'll hollow the room out. Inside there you need at least one entity anyway. Uh, so we'll make a light. 500. And we'll go and add it at info player deathmatch. Which is our starting point anyway. And we'll put that over in the in the side there and we'll drag it to the corner and we'll save this as uh, build okay now I'm saving this as you can see in the top left of my screen alien arena 2007 data one maps build dot map now uh, what you can do is you can open up a command line a CMD Okay, now you can change directory to that, so we'll do CD Alien Arena 2007 Data 1 Maps. We can change to there, and then if you've uh, got the compiling tools in this directory, um, you can actually get them from the AA Third Party Maps website. If you don't have them, you can see them over here, AA Compilers. If you don't see them there, click Show All, and they'll appear just here. Um, if you don't have them, grab them and put them into your Alien Arena 2007 directory. And then you type QBSP3 build. Because that's the name of the map, so we do QBSP3, which is the command. Then we give it an option, which is build. And we hit enter. And it goes, uh, game day set to this, uh, entering the map. No seconds elapsed, it was very quick to compile because it's only a small room. The next step we need to do is viz, which we do by doing qviz3, and what this does, it works out the, uh, the, vi the viz of the map, which is lights and portals and things like that. So uh, I didn't give it an option, so we do qviz3, and again the map name, build. Okay, and that's, as you can see there, it's got one portal cluster, and it's built, and then we need to do one final step, and we do qrad. Three. Now this basically works with textures on the map and lays them. Uh, it, it's complicated. All you need to know is that you need to run three steps. QBSP3, QViz3 and now QRAD3. And we'll put the option on the end. The map is called Build. And we hit Enter. And now that map is basically ready to play. Now instead of doing it that way every time. Because sometimes maps can take a while to compile. And what you don't want to do is type in QBSP3 and then your map name, hit enter and walk away from the machine, come back an hour later to find it's been finished for ages, then you've got to run the next step and you've got to wait for that. The best way to do it would be to build a batch file. Now a batch file uh, looks like this, this is my one. Um, very, very, very simple. You can actually go to crazy lengths with your batch file to turn on and off all certain options. But you can see here, all my batch file does is it will change directory to Alien Arena 2007 Data 1 Maps. It will run QBSP3. And you see this here, percent %1. That means switch 1 or option 1. So uh, it's QBSP3 space percent %1. And the option I would pass it would be the map name. So the first option would come in as percent %1. If I was to put another option after it, for example, full It'd be percent two, etc., etc. Uh, so we can see here it runs QBSP three percent one, QViz three percent one, QRAD three percent one, and that percent one will turn into the map name when you type it in. I'll show you this in a second. Then when that's finished, it will go ahead and copy my BSP file to my Alien Arena Maps SVN, which is the third-party maps uh, SVN repository, and it will copy it into the development folder Arena Maps. 
and then it'll copy the map file into the map source and it'll copy the BSP to my Alien Arena game directory um, just so I can test it out by using Galaxy or sorry by loading the game up through Galaxy or using my actual installed version rather than having a separate version running for it and finally it'll change directory back to the root so let's try this now what I'll do is I'll do CD slash and we'll do clear screen and that brings us to our C prompt I will type in now build because that's the name of my batch file you can see it up here build.bat and then I'll go ahead and I'll type in build because that's what I've also called the map up here maybe I should have given it a separate name so it doesn't look like I'm typing build twice going all west on you and hit enter and you see it runs all them commands one after the other then copies all these files to the different places and I'll just rename this to my map open up my command prompt again type in build my map and you can see it's done that again now what it's done is it's copied these files to these directories and we'll show you that now we'll take a look uh, we said that the map the BSP file will be copied to development arena maps so we go into the development folder we go to arena we go to maps and there you can see there's my map and there's build there's all the other files that have been used in the past um, so let's take a look now the map source has been copied to AA maps SVN development arena maps map source so we go to the map source folder and there you can see it there's build.map and mymap.map and finally it's copied the map file to alien arena so it can be played so there we can uh, say see alien arena uh, oh what am i doing uh, arena maps and we can see that it will be uh, we've looked for build so it'll be in alphabetical order there's build and then we've got another one which was called my map and there's my map so you can write a very very simple batch file to deal with this um, as you can see that's only a couple of lines and what you need to do is if you're going to build a batch file you save it as dot bat best way to do that is do file and save as and then uh, turn off the text association like so and uh, you say all files and then you just basically call it build.bat and save it on your C root or something like that so that is basically uh, compiling and building a small batch file to create your map so that you can test it in the game and see how it runs right uh, but do remember that this tutorial at the moment is only for now very very shortly I believe I'm told that the uh, build menu in Radiant will eventually work. You'll be able to use all of these and you won't have to leave the editor. You just click one of the buttons and bam, it'll do it. Right, thanks very much. I uh, will move on.